before anything, I have to show you guys this. Barong Tagahalog. Welcome back fam, we got a new episode for you guys. Straight up hitting up the swap meet and hitting up the thrifts, coming out with a surprise. First off, if you guys didn't see the legit check video, there is a little announcement. I will be doing legit checks as well as shout outs, five bucks, PayPal friends and family, hit up my Instagram, at Freshenerfully, get that sorted away. Also with that, I still get question about this. Do I sell my stuff? Yes I do, link is down below, go check out the Depop. We still got a deal going on, take advantage before it ends. Reminder, hit that notification bell. Don't miss out on a new video. With all that said, let's go. All right, we're back at the swap meet. Ready to hit it up. Mask on. So there we go, first scoop of the day. They got 1996 license, Michael Jordan. Toon Squad jersey, number 23. You guys already know about this. Space Jam toys. You know, it's sad, probably one day, these will all be gone, I don't know. What do you guys think? I had to pick it up, $1. Dude, look at the bend on these. <laughs> Look at this guy with the dirt board over here. Like coming out of Michael Jordan's repertoire right here from his personal closet. That is awesome. So he did 10 bucks on it. He did take it. And look, it's got iridiums on it. It's got that classic 90s Oakley look. Like I said, Michael Jordan. Look at the pictures. Yes, yes. So yeah. yeah. So I picked it up. I picked up the Batman hat. It was three bucks. It has the tag still on it. Vintage flow on it. This is going to be up on Depop. You guys are going to want it. The Made in Taiwan Universal tag. Nice colorway. <laughs> Look at that. Picking up at the spot. It is super sunny now. But check it out. Degeneration X2000. We got a Mindy Vega. If you guys don't know, go look her up, man. And then we got Mark McGuire from 1999. It's a like keychain watch. That is amazing. That's bringing back memories for me. All one dollar. Look at that. I thought it was Chrome Hearts for a second. Oh, see so guys, everything here is a dollar. So I'm gonna try to find something. So there we go, all smushed up. The one thing, it was a dollar. Look at this thing. I think I found one of these before in black. It's a reverse colorway. So check it out, it's got the N on the front, Nike right on the back. Snap is still intact. The last one I had had a big crack in it right here. Made in Taiwan. That's a nice little scoop right there. It's only a dollar. I'm gonna take it. Where'd you go? Oh, there. Oh, there. That's this. Let's look how cute. Look at this cute one. He's just cute one. It's a cute one over here. It's cute. It's so happy. Okay. <laughs> That's a little lull in my time, man. Some joy right there, but some vintage. I believe these are 1995. Illuminati New World Order cards. I have a few in here. So there's like sheets of these. I know there's starter packs, but there's some rare ones in here also. And that's bringing it back. Right here. Even, even the folder itself, it's got some old age to it. Look at the Game Pro. If anybody out there knows about this game or knows about the implication, implication of having these cards, please comment down below. and prosper Dude, that's crazy. So that guy wanted $50. 50 So crazy. Loco. And they got the puppies barking over here. But I thought it was gonna be like 10 bucks, 5 bucks, 15. I thought it was gonna be something like that. But it was 50 bucks for a Spock. It's a 1970 Spock though. Okay, I knew what to look for. We're gonna search the shoes. How much for the Nikes? 15. 
There we go. We got some Air Max 95s right here. Not too bad. 2010 on these. Pretty decent. I mean, not too cloudy. It's got the three M's on. I found these before, but they were really messed up. They're not in this size. These are 10 and a half. We'll see about it. We'll see the fit. I'll clean it up. It's pretty nice. A little toe cap action for you guys right there. Check that out. I know it's sad, but everything is intact. But look the writing on the bottom. Somebody was using this recently. Somebody was messing with it. It's a vintage roller derby. Like, look at the clay wheels on it. Vintage skateboard. And this is just another one. A few of these in the collection already. And whenever I find them, no way I'm leaving them. I just have to pick them up. That is a crazy vintage skateboard. Somebody did this. I'm gonna try to do my best with it. I don't know if I wanna sand it. Oh my God, can't wait to take this thing home. That's it, last scoops, check the comps, let's go. Before anything, I have to show you guys this. Barong Tagalog for the low. Suerte, huh? All right, this is what we got here. I'm gonna set these up. So first off, we do got the vintage Levi's orange tab. It is a made in USA, but it's really tiny. 11 regular, 25 and a half ways. Then we got this steer skull Levi's tag made in Romania. That's pretty cool coming up there. And like a plaid flannel, it's a size small. The tags on this thing, I like the colors on it. And the last, this one's a definite scoop. 501 Levi's Strauss. We got the Levi's logo and we got the Levi's red tab. Let's check the tag. Look at that, a little die, but I can see it. Made in USA. That's a weird one too. Flannel polo, I love it. And I forgot to mention with this one, you can't forget Samurai's. I'm gonna show you guys a new film location, the workaholics house that you guys all know and love. Super tight butthole. Right here, there's the workaholics house. Tight butthole right there. That's just another installment of filming locations that are just so local. What do you guys wanna see next? Marty's house from Back to the Future, Pulp Fiction spots, I'm all game. Just hit the thrift. All right, guys, I've been looking through everything and I'm just not finding too much. So I'm gonna take a chance on something. But first off, I do gotta shout out my boy Flick over here, 1998, Bugs Life. If you remember, then you remember. If you don't, uh, go watch the movie, come on. This is what I'm talking about here. Okay, do you see these bags right here? I'm gonna pick up uh, maybe two. All right, I'm following the arrows. All right, we are outside now. I am definitely ready. Oh my god, you guys, this is all worthwhile. Look at that. Oh my gosh. And it's a front graphic too. We got Vegeta, we got Goku. Let's check the tag. Made in USA. Is it 2008 though? But look at that. Oh, that makes it all worthwhile. I still got some. Made in USA Ezekiel T that looks like the Lexus logo and to say the relentless pursuit of perfection Ezekiel. That's crazy. That's going back to all those, you know, Stussy doing it where they look like other things, uh, spoop shirts. I mean, that's the stock right there. First off, you guys, that's what's up. Going to a spot first off, there's nothing there. And now I made some lemonade out of those lemons. There we go. Next thrift. Back in here, $39.99, not $3.99. Check out what it is. I thought, whoa, for a second. Again, another Burberry piece. Uh, as you can see, it does have the Burberry tag, but stitching is a little off. The major thing on this is the inside tag. Made in China, you flip down to say, I clean recommended. Uh, it's so small, 40 bucks, pass. <laughs> Thanks for watching it's gonna the short recap i'm gonna make it quick space jam michael jordan marlboro water bottle vintage batman snapback with the tag still on it hologram super clean just needs a little shaping that's gonna be up on depop that vintage nike hat snaps still good this one's going to stash illuminati new world order cards all of these cards are going for at least a dollar three dollars ten dollars these cards are going for twenty dollars and up all the way to 40. these two cards right here global warming and x-ray specs i believe they're almost around 50 bucks and the hundred dollar card i actually checked sold cards that spontaneous combustion it did sell for 132 dollars flesh eating bacteria another hundred dollar piece go lemmings go this actually has to do with a dark history of walt disney animal movies you guys don't know about the story about the lemmings go check it out crazy documentary that was forced upon them and they just jumped off the mountain got another hundred dollar piece right there illuminati university the levi's pieces as well as a couple shirts also the 2010 neons are going to be up on depop also they are a size 10 and a half if you guys want to 
them. Go check them out. Smalls I did pick up. Also, you can't forget about the 90s Oakley sunglasses. I did pick up for seven bucks the Mustang 15 Roller Derby 60s skateboard. This is vintage skateboarding, okay? Not 90s vintage, not even 80s vintage. Yellow striping, blue paint, did say Mustang 15. It's just an amazing piece coming out of there and everything is sound. That's bringing it back. Last but not least, the 248 little pile bundles. I did pick up two of them. I found one t-shirt. It's the Dragon Ball Z shirt, DBZ tag. It does say Dragon Ball Z and it's got Goku Kakarot. and Vegeta right in the front. Just an amazing piece, small, but I can see it looks like a medium. And that's what I'm talking about, you guys. I took a chance on a bundle because there was just nothing in that thrift store. And that's what I always tell you guys. Branch out, do something that you haven't done before and you'll be surprised with the outcome. So with that, I'm just gonna say what I always say. Hit that sub button because more videos are coming. This was Mick from Fresh from the Fleet.